Hey everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be on my Christmas traditions. <laughs> recently just happened it's been happening for several years or whatever so before we get into the video make sure to give it a like and subscribe and share comment if you would like to see any more videos like this it doesn't have to be Christmas traditions it could be any kind of traditions so let's just get into the video why not so my first tradition so these traditions are gonna be christmas of course like i just said but my first one is the parade uh hope parade for our church but we've been going we asked me my mom and stuff we've been going to this parade for the past four years uh we just go of course and sit on like either walk it or known as the ch our church whosoever or we just watch it or something you know but that's the first one the pup parade and the second one is black friday me and my aunt and my cousin and one of uh, the family members we usually go to black friday at walmart every basically basically every year and they said my mom said that i used to i've went ever since i was two four years old and it's been a tradition every single year for black friday at christmas shopping and it was it's hectic but it is awesome to me and the third one is me and my cousin she's been on my channel before uh but me and my cousin we try our best to do every year as a tradition to make to uh ourselves build a gingerbread house or a gingerbread train we did this year we done a vlog on it and it'll be up sometime soon or whatever but I'm sorry, you can hear birds and big trucks, but I'm outside. But hopefully y'all can hear me. But that gingerbread trains are houses, little houses. Uh, we done, last year we done a gingerbread house, and this year we done a gingerbread train. And that's one of the other traditions. And the fifth one is, so we have family that lives down here, and lives in money so we go up there and we play bad santa with our family and down here at my aunt's we also play bad santa so that's been a tradition for i don't know how long but for some years and that's funny and if, fun and funny and if y'all don't know what bad santa is i'm sure y'all do but if y'all don't i will love to enjoy to explain it to y'all it's where we get games to how many people will play we get games for each one of us wrap it of course put it in the middle of the anywhere and we all pick numbers one through however many people it is and we go by the numbers number one it changes up but like this is the version i know how to play number one gets to go first of course and at the ending the presents that aren't that's not dead meaning hasn't been stolen from someone three times if the present isn't dead you get to pick from any present that's not dead number one person can pick it at the end of the game can steal theirs and swap uh, without them saying yes or no and you pick a, a present like three times and you have to swap it and whenever your number pick comes you grab a present open it show it to everybody and wait till it's the next person's turn and that's basically all anyways and that's that's basically all and we go to two different families and we play bad santa two different times so we've been done doing that for many years and my sixth and final one i don't know if i can remember any others but this is my last one i can remember is the saran i cannot say this i think that's right but saran rat ball game and we just started this one for this year tradition we've been wanting to do it for years but that is the last one and saran wrap ball y'all we've seen it on facebook but we're doing that this year my aunts and it's where you get a saran wrap of course and do it in like a big ball and you put stuff in each layer like money like t 
tickets to something uh, and candy you know cards anything not the big cards but like the money cards like you put anything in there you want you don't have to put anything specific just whatever you want whatever you find like from dollar general dollar tree whatever put it in there in layers and each layer put something in there wrap it up until it's like big and you get dice and I don't know what number has to roll on before you get a row first or something but if you get a six on both dices uh, make it to where it's six uh, the other person that's unwrapping it gives it to you and the stuff you get you can keep and it just goes around the table for however many people's you know playing it and it's real fun real fun last year let's see last year we done a box you had to put mittens on and a hat on and then you had to open up the box it's a box and then you had to open it up with paper and then open up the regular box and there there's money deep down inside inside of the box and and it was real hard and it was hilarious and fun and we're recording it and if i can find the video i'll see if i can put it in. hey the next time around y'all just have one um glove on because you ain't getting nowhere like that I'm sure there's a lot more, but I hope y'all enjoy this video. And if there's any traditions y'all have, then comment them down below or just tell me about them, you know. I want to know any more traditions that we can make up, you know, for fun, easy, hard, or whatever. But anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed this video, and I hope y'all give it a like, share, and subscribe, and comment anything y'all want y'all would like for me to do any prayer requests and if y'all do not want to comment them them down below i have my instagram down in this description dm me any prayer requests or if not just say unspoken like you know i would love to pray for you and i'd love to do any videos y'all would like for me to do and like i said i hope y'all enjoyed this video and i will see y'all in the next one bye guys